what is going on? How is everybody? We're back. We are in the oh God, AFC Hinkley save, or Hinkley FC save, or whatever you want to call it. Underdog save. You call it what you want to call it. I don't mind. We are here for you. So you call it whatever you want. Idiot speech crap series. Whatever. I don't care. <laughs> so, going to class this as the mid-season review okay i'm going to start doing mid-season and end of season reviews uh, as you know i've put up a schedule showing when videos are going to be uploaded don't panic just because one day is dedicated to hinkley one day to realism doesn't mean that on other days videos won't go up but that is when you can expect there will definitely be videos up on those days so if i get to a point where i'm thinking hey i'm enjoying this let's make a shy load of videos and boom 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 you know they can come out on the other days same with the minecraft stuff same with other games i will be venturing into other games in and around and after and stuff after christmas so just keep an eye out you fools it's the season of good cheer in the spartan south midlands premier division mm -hmm. we are doing all right last time out you saw us give canterbury and malvern the slapping of a lifetime it's continued we ain't messed around we beat our second placed league rivals westfields by three goals to one feeling bisungu and nardiello this kid this kid he's just the surprise of the season so far uh been brilliant stats rubbish you know stats aren't great but he is improving his determination is what's getting him through and his teamwork but slowly he's starting to improve and i mean he's got seven goals already this season and today we are going to start him for the first time i've just decided right this second i am going to start him for the very first time so we'll see his first start in uh, just <laughs> i can't get words out his first start will be against bishop sutton in the fava's third round we then beat hillingdon by four goals to one uh, an own goal from lorry barry quinn greenman tambini and the beast the beast the beast is on fire with another one there we then drew uh, yeah drew three i can't i completely lost my train of thought then we drew three all with colney heath uh Phelan, spence bisungu who else and then last time out we thumped third place holmer green by five goals to one ebanks bisungu with a couple quinn and johnny wright so today we're going up against bishop sutton that will be very shortly finance wise five grand in the bank expected uh, sorry 16 grand i was looking at i was looking at the top one there for this month i apologize um <laughs> balance of 16 we're just under seventeen thousand. expected to finish on 38 but if we go up we'll get a bit of money for going up we'll get you know it, hopefully we'll be able to sort of claw it back in a little bit so let's have a little look how we've progressed as a club surprisingly for me um because last time i did this save i went up straight away and we moved on but this time it's been much more realistic we had to really build a squad so last season was a bit of a yeah you know, what where's my away kit gone how bizarre i haven't updated because it's updating you can't change the skin and you have to mess around and do something which i will do but how freaking bizarre that the home kit's there but the away kit isn't i'll have a look into that at some point it's not the end of the world is it let's be honest it's not you know no major issue um but as a club we've come on well in the first season and a half if you ask me um which not if you have but i'm going to tell you anyway um so have a look at our freaking if we can select it let's have a look at our record so last season i think it was last season did we finish fourth last season i don't think we did did we i can't even remember where we finished last season but we did all right last season you know after that horrendous start was it eight or nine defeats in a row uh 
games lost in a row six that was it, it was six in a row we lost um, and then we sorted ourselves out um, we've done we've done really well. I've been pleased with the players we've been able to bring in such as Louis Spence Bisungu well Bisungu was already there Nana Jordan what a what a legend um, and then of course we've got Gary Nardiello the youngest ever goal scorer for the club and he is like I said earlier he is my, in my running for my pick for young player of the year in my team okay At the end of the season I'll tell you who my player of the year has been who my young player of the year has been um, might do goal of the year for me um, if I can remember the goals because sometimes it's hard as you know when you get to the end of the season to remember your best goals but if a goal sticks out to me then I will I'll throw it in at the end of the season and um, you know I've I've just been I've kind of not I've not lost inspiration but I've been struggling to find time to play if I'm honest because with Football Manager, I like to invest a lot of time in it. You know, with the Minecraft videos, it's going, break a few things, go off. You know, simple as that. Um, with this, I like to really sit and pay attention. Here's that you like. <laughs> Custom me on for y'all. Um, I like to sit and pay attention to what I'm doing. So, as we look at the board, what were our expectations? I can't even remember. Um, they're very pleased with me. I'm only secure at the minute though, which is a bit stupid. Player, uh, fan player, form reactions. So they're pleased with Basung. They're pleased with all those guys. Transfer reactions. They're pleased with those guys. You know, they're they're very happy in life. Um, you know, the fans are pretty happy. I I could do with um, my job being a bit safer minimum expectation is that the team wins the division this season that was it that's right and the FA Vols minimum expectation is to win it Jesus I didn't think they'd expect us to win that as well well I never <laughs> well, my, my, my security is much stronger well thanks Jesus. And the ball is content with the club's stature within the footballing world, which I think you are. Because, you know, we're nothing, we're nothing to shout at him about yet. There's been no further transfers. Um, apart from Joe Shaw, they've offered him a contract. If he goes, he goes. If he stays, he stays. I don't mind too much either way. I wonder if Lee Hendry's found himself a club yet. He has. Handsworth Paramore. Wow. Stick that in your pipe and smoke it. So we're going to go up today against Bishop Sutton. Don't know what to expect. I know they have the top goal scorer in the competition. I do know that much about them. Um, other than that, I've not really done too much looking into it. Steve Phillips is injured. That's a blow. Right, let me entertain you. You getting goal? Okay. Oh, Stotty lad. Leg it. Johnson. And Zmoyle on the bench. Apart from that, the rest of you are alright. What's up with you? Why are you whinging? Negatives. Phil is running out of chances. Of what? You've played like seriously he's played the last god knows how many games in a row he's played like the last four in a row league and cup so i'm giving him his chance he needs to just freaking get over himself but um the massive blow that uh that phillips is out massive blow who's this guy Isaiah Graham Clark, left back, former kid of Minster in Shortwood, defender. Well, there you go, you see, he learns something new every day. And then Adam Gwilliam is the top goal scorer in the competition. So we know that they're going to have, hang on a minute, let me 
just check something. Okay. That shouldn't be too loud. I hope it's not. Um, okay, they've got Keating goal. That's crazy. And Gwilliam's on the bench. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, you do that. Go out there. Barry Gray. We need a good game from the young keeper. Because Phillips has been in fine, fine form. Pulls off some great saves to Steve Phillips. Highly recommend him at low league football level on this. Oh, well done, Earl Davis. Poor from the keeper, but well done, Earl Davis. Well done, the keeper that time. Came in and swept it up very nicely. Spence. Basungu get in. The beast. The beast is on fire. 23rd goal of the season. Boom. Up in your face. Go on, send it in. Oh, Royce. Again, get in, Royce. First goal for the season. From the miserable player that's complaining he's not playing enough. Idiot. But he's on there. He's, he is lit hinkling up on this dark and rainy day in December. Well, not quite, but you know what I mean. Spence sends it in. Come on, get to the ball. Well done. Bisungu, Nana Jordan, Quinny Boy, Feeling Jordan, Bisungu, oh, Tambini, Bisungu, what a move. What a move. 3 0 after 28 minutes. Mm hmm. Gray collects that up. Well done, young man. I'd love for him to be able to get a clean sheet today. I don't think he will, but it would be a massive boost for his confidence. And with Phillips being out, he needs it. Oh, unlucky. Lovely ball through from Danny Jordan. Come on. Davis. Tambrini. Poor control attempt from Spence, but Royce has picked it up. He's moving very advanced today, Royce is. Go on. Oh, Spence. Puts it wide. I mean, it seemed easier to score. That old chestnut. Jordan, come on now. That's it. I just love the way we play. Nana. Bisungu, poor header. Could have done with non it across to Ebanks because he was sort of making the run in. If he'd have just cushioned it down, Ebanks would have probably slotted that home. Well saved. Mind you, it was right at him, but we know at this level how poor goalkeepers can be. Oh, damn, I forgot to start. Mud yellow. Why don't you remind me? <sighs> right. I'm going to protect you, Basungu. I'm going to bring on Nardiello for the second half. Okay, we'll protect old Big Dan. I can't believe I forgot to start Nardiello. I'll have to start him in my next league game then, I guess. Ebanks. Nardiello. Offside? No, eighth of the season. See? Kid is on fire kid is on fire so it shot the hell out of me i just threw him in for the sake of throwing a youngster in basically when i first put him in he got a couple you know he made the difference go on oh made the difference in that game i think it was last season wasn't it when he made his debut oh, lucky made a big difference when he came on and he does every time he comes on oh oh because oh, oh. his determination is so high you know he's just a machine whether he could cut it starting a match I don't know here he goes oh nearly nearly must be a goal no not yet anyway Nardiello cleared out right let's just protect a couple of our players here um, my, my, my. Ebanks can come off for Johnny Wright and then I know Fawudu doesn't play that position but he can go in there it's all good. And that should see us. Th I mean, I can't see them getting five, four or five goals in 15 minutes. Here comes the first. No. Wow. Wow. Talk about 
wildly lashing at the ball. How are you feeling? Damn, son. Well, that's not too bad. We've only, we've only got a few moments left, so we'll just do that. It's not the end of the world. We've got a couple of minutes left. But here's Spacey. Not Kevin Spacey, the actor, of course. That'd be silly. Get in. So, a nice 4 0 when we progress into the fourth round of the cup. The cup I've only just realised we're expected to win. But the top goal scorer is out, and Dan Basungu is catching up. But now, Lewis Baker. <laughs> I just applaud that. I applaud that. What a beautiful specimen. <laughs> oh my goodness. So we're going to go in now to the draw. Get that out of the way and then we'll call it a day. Yes, Royce did impress. I've been impressed with him, which is why he's playing, which is why he needs to shut his face moaning about not playing. It's going to take something serious to dislodge him from the team now. Serious. Cause third round shock. We're expected to win it by our board, but that victory was classed as a shock. Oh, I love you. Have a yawn. I apologise. Life is very straining on my tiredness. <laughs> He's very rude. People seem to find it funny. People actually could say to me when I don't yawn in these football manager videos, you didn't do the yawn, man. You didn't yawn. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Okay, let's draw all the teams. Who have we got? Either. Now these... These, I, if I, now I might be mistaken, I could be mistaken, so just bear in while I check my facts. Yeah, this is actually the team that Hinkley AFC share ground with in real life. Some John's part here though. I just wanted to check because I know there is another team in the UK with the same name but yeah that is who Hinkley in real life share their ground with so this is a local derby they're top of their league we're top of our league you know now really running right well they're not they're level on points with Loughborough and Corner up there with them as well great Yarmouth wow great Yarmouth what a bunch of guys actually played for Great Yarmouth once, um, years ago. I was down there, I went away for the weekend with uh, my wife, she was my girlfriend then, well, fiancé then, and um, the hotel we stopped in backed on to the football pitch, uh, the football ground at Great Yarmouth, which is just like one stand and a pitch really, it's nothing spectacular. And uh, I was down in the reception area and um, the manager was in there and he was saying to the guy, he was getting the key for the uh, the walkway through because you kind of could get through to it um, if you were a player, staff, something from an alley, like a bit of the hotel and uh, they were getting that and he was saying, I haven't got enough players, you know, we've, we've got enough to fill 11 um not got enough on the bench you know so we might have to call the game off which was a bummer because the team that had traveled up had traveled quite some way they had a bit of a nightmare getting there and i just sort of said to him i said look dude i used to play you know I, i'm not 100 percent fit but you know if you need a hand and he was like sweet so um, let's get you signed up sign me up fax through the stuff to the uh to the managers of the league they were like yeah that's fine that's no problem you know we understand blah 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 uh we can make exceptions for cases like this um so me and one of the lads from the hotel were on the bench and about 30 minutes um from the end one of their players just cramped to the max he couldn't carry on um He'd, he, he'd ran himself ragged and um, he pulled his muscle uh, as well I think and he pulled up with cramp and he was just in a right state 
so the manager sort of looked he had the goalkeeper on the bench sub goalkeeper uh, me and the guy from the hotel now he, apparently the guy from the hotel played before and he was pretty poop so uh, he said to me you, you know do you want to go on and I was like well I might as well sat here you know losing a few hours of my holiday to which to my wife I'm very grateful that she allowed me to do it she was very uh, okay with it she went and spent a lot of money I went and played football and uh, I came on for the last half an hour didn't score um, set up um, set up one goal I think I class it as a set up anyway I, I shot it it hit the post and rebounded out bumped off one of their defenders and somebody tapped it in so I class that I class that and uh, you know I'll take it so uh, yeah that was that was it great armor crazy ridiculous it's just bizarre so I can't remember who the hell was the let me have a look it's probably changed now but it's gonna bug bug the crap out of me because <laughs> Saf was going really rings a bell but he wasn't the manager then I'm here uh, great yeah let's google let's get google out Let's get Google out. Yeah, Sand Sandown Road is where the ground is. Just behind the Imperial Hotel. The Bloaters. <laughs> I crack in it. I never knew the nickname was the Bloaters. There you go, you see. So first team what is his name what is his name Ricky Butler Ricky Butler that's it and his brother Carl is the assistant I believe I believe so Ricky Butler yeah, he's a little bold guy. Really funny chap, like really nice guy. And uh, yeah, I enjoyed that. You know, if I lived up there, I'd have probably stuck around and played. He said, "I." He said, "I still had it. <laughs> I was playing after breaking my foot, my duck, my you know, ripping my cartilage in my knee. I was playing down there, and he said I had a good game. So that was really kind of him. Anyway, guys and girls, girls watch football manager videos as well. I know, I've seen it." I've seen them liking videos. I, uh, I'm a modern man, me. I'm none of this. Girls can't do this. Girls can't do that crap from over here. Power to the people and all that stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Please drop a like, subscribe, comment, do all the amazing things you do. Really appreciate the response to the schedule. Like I said, don't panic. Just because there's only two days dedicated to FM and two days to Minecraft doesn't mean other videos won't go out. If I record something, I want to put it up, I'll put it up. Okay, and I will try to do so. I just wanted to give myself the breather so you didn't expect videos on those days. But uh, just keep an eye out. They may happen. But for now, goodbye.